Have you ever complained about a long flight? 12 hours feels exhausting. 19 hours feels unbearable. But what if I told you, some birds fly farther than the longest, non-stop flights on Earth, with no engines, no seats, no rest, just wings, and they do it every year. The undisputed champion of migration is the Arctic Tern. This tiny bird travels from the Arctic all the way to Antarctica and back again. That's over 44,000 miles in a single year, the longest migration of any animal on Earth. It literally chases summer across the planet, seeing more daylight than any living creature. And it weighs less than your phone. Then there's the bird that terrifies pilots and amazes scientists. The bar-tailed godwit. It flies from Alaska to New Zealand over 7,200 miles nonstop across the Pacific Ocean. No landing, no sleep, no second chances. It flies until it arrives, or it doesn't. Scientists found it can shrink its internal organs mid-flight to save energy. Now meet a bird that treats the ocean like a racetrack, the sooty shearwater. Every year it takes off from New Zealand and completes a 40,000-mile circular journey around the Pacific Ocean. It rides vast wind systems for weeks without touching land, gliding for hours without flapping its wings, using wind like fuel. This seabird spends more time in the air than on the ground. And then comes one of the most shocking journeys for a bird its size, the northern wheat ear. A bird small enough to fit in your hand, yet it migrates from Alaska and Canada to sub-Saharan Africa. That's over 9,000 miles crossing oceans, deserts, and mountain ranges. Over 9,000 miles, guided by instinct alone. And survival sometimes depends on timing. The red knot migrates nearly 9,300 miles from the Arctic to South America, but its journey only works if it reaches the U.S. East Coast exactly when horseshoe crabs lay their eggs. Those eggs are its fuel supply. Miss that window, and the journey fails. Speed matters too. The Great Snipe flies 4,200 miles nonstop from Sweden to Central Africa, reaching speeds of over 60 miles per hour. It's one of the fastest long-distance migrators ever recorded. Then there are the Marathon Travelers. The Swainson's Hawk flies about 12,000 miles round trip from North America all the way to Argentina and back, following thermal air currents like invisible highways to save energy. The Black Pole Warbler, weighing less than a pen, flies 1,800 miles nonstop across the Atlantic Ocean from the northeastern U.S. to South America. No land, no rest. It doubles its body weight before the flight just to survive the journey. The pectoral sandpiper racks up nearly 18,600 miles every year, migrating from the Arctic to South America and back. Males even race against each other during migration to reach breeding grounds first. And the Manx Shearwater flies about 6,200 miles from the UK to South America, navigating open ocean with pinpoint accuracy. Some individuals are known to return to the exact same nesting burrow for decades. Here's the perspective shift. Humans needed jets, satellites, and fuel to cross the planet. Birds have been doing it for millions of years using stars, wind, and Earth's magnetic field. We call our flights long, but in the sky, we're beginners. So next time you see a bird flying overhead, remember it might be on a journey longer than anything you'll ever take, and it won't complain once.